if you're getting into woodworking or general do-it-yourself stuff, it's good to get the terminology correct. And that's where this video comes in. I'm going to tell you what the name of this screwdriver is, what type of screwdriver this is. So you'll get it right the next time and you won't look like a lightweight. It is, it can be called two names actually. One is better than the other one, but uh, both are acceptable. The first and most acceptable one is standard. It's called that because it is the standard. I mean, it was around before any other screwdriver tip was available. The second name that's acceptable although not as not as good as the standard, standard sounds really good, is slotted. Slotted works as well. Flathead is in no way acceptable for this screwdriver. And I'll tell you why. I make plans and on my plans I, you know, uh, have a materials list and it says the type of screws that you need and I'll often say a certain number of flathead screws and people get confused I've had a few people email me wondering if they can use Phillips screws or you know Robertson screws but flathead screws are not the type of drive it's the actual geometry of the screw it's flat on the top flat head and the counter sinks in so it's flush with the surface. I'm normally not a stickler on these types of things. Getting the terminology right is helpful though, especially like I said, if you keep getting emails about the type of screw as opposed to the type of screwdriver. While I'm here, I might as well talk about the other screwdriver types. Um, we got the Phillips right here. This is a number two. They come in different sizes. This is number two. There's a smaller one, number one, and there's a number three. There are also bigger and smaller ones than that, but they're very seldom used the number one, the number two, number three Phillips are the most common. And I think of the three, the number two is the most common. That's the size that'll fit into say drywall screws. So like the standard, there's another name that people call these and that's star. And once again, if you want to look like a lightweight, keep using that. Otherwise call it Phillips and then everybody knows exactly what you're talking about. So the Phillips drive is probably the most common in the United States. Up here in Canada, we've been blessed with what's known as the Robertson. Also, known as Square and that's handy to call it that if you want to rip off the company's patent and make your own drivers and call them Square Socket Drive or whatever and not use the brand name which is Robertson. A dude named Robertson came up with the idea of making a screw like this with the Square Drive like that and it's very popular here. You can go at any hardware store right across the country. As far as I know, I haven't been right across the country to say for certain but I'm pretty sure you can and buy a box of these screws on any hardware store shelf, pretty much any like Walmart or any place like that, you can go in and buy Robertson drive screws. Now, like the Phillips, it comes in different sizes. This is a number two. Number two is the most common. And like the Phillips, there are also other sizes. They go up and down, but the most common one is the number two, which in Canada is referred to as the Red Robbie, which I've never said before in the entirety of my lifetime because I hate that expression. Hey Willie, hand me the Red Robbie. So what's great about the Robertson is that it fits in the screw like that. It can't move sideways, back and forth. It's locked in. It also grips the screw really well so that it doesn't fall out. And it's, it's more difficult to cam it out than say the Phillips. The Phillips will strip out a little bit easier. So that's the three very common types here in North America. In Europe, they use a lot of Torx and Torx, I have a screwdriver right here, and it has multiple bits on here, but of course none of them <laughs> happen to fit the thing that you want to take apart, <laughs> which is fairly typical. And I did five minutes of research on this and I found that Torx was developed as a manufacturing thing. It makes it easier for machines, the driving machines, to grip the screw on an automatic feeder and drive it in and pull it out without damaging the tip too much. The thing that bugs me about Torx is that they made way too many sizes to do the job. Unlike Robertson, that you got three primary sizes, you know, one, two, and three. And the same thing for Phillips. They decided to make a bunch in between. I don't know if it was to make the actual hole, you know, the slot where the screwdriver fits look better on the screw, but you know, there are seven bits in this screwdriver and they range from, I think, T8 right up to T30 or whatever. It's crazy. 
but I've gotten comments on this before and our friends in Europe like using it. So there you go. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you would like to see me do more of this type of video where I talk about a tool like that. I can do any subject you want. Leave uh, recommendations in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.